Hi, welcome. I'm here to talk about an example of conduit sizing. So in this instance, we're pulling these conductors, right? All RW90, 600 volt without jacket. We're pulling them into a conduit and we want to know what is the minimum size of EMT that I'm allowed as per 12900 in the 2015 Canadian Electrical Code, right? So we're using 12, or sorry, 12910 to size these con or conductors. Because there's multiple different sizes of conductors, we're going to have to use uh, tables 8, 9, and table 10 to size these conductors. Right? Keeping in mind, if they all were the same size conductor, we could just go right to table 6, A through K, and size it based on that. So our first step with these is I need to go to table 10. A through D and to figure out how big each of these conductors are. So we know they're RW90, 600 volt without jacket, but we have some stranded conductors and some solid conductors. And this is something you'll see quite often in the field because we only have sizes 14, 12, and 10 that come in solid. Everything above that is stranded. So in this application, for our number eights, we're actually going to go to table 10A. And we are going to determine uh, the size of one number eight, and we can determine that one number eight is good for 28.17 millimeters squared. Now, that's just one number eight. Yes, I know we're pulling three in the conduit, but we'll do that math after. For our solid conductors, where we need to go is actually table 10C. Now, table 10C is going to give us the area in millimeters squared of our solid conductors. All right, so one number 10, uh, we find out is good for 13.25 millimeters squared. That's how much space it takes up in the conduit. Uh, one number 12, right, this is just for one, takes up 10.02 millimeters squared. So all this information came from table 10. Now what I want to do is I want to take this. I want to multiply this by 3 because I have 3 conductors. That's going to give me 84.51 millimeters squared. Now that's how much space my 3 number 8 stranded are going to take up inside a conduit. Uh, this is just multiply by 1, 13.25 millimeters squared. And this, we have 8 of them, so we multiply by 8, gives us 80.16 millimeters squared. So that's the math to figure out our conductors. How much a single conductor takes up multiplied by the amount of conductors gives us how much space we require for all of that size of conductor. Then what we want to do is we want to add all of this up which is going to give us the total space that these conductors are going to take up in a conduit. So I add all these numbers up gives me 177 0.92 millimeters squared. Perfect. Now I have two more stops. Uh, first, I need to go to table 8. Now what table 8 is going to tell me is table 8 tells me how much I can fill up that conduit. So because we have more than four conductors, we're using a non-lead sheathed conductor. Table 8 tells us we can go 40% full. So my conduit can be up to 40% full. Perfect. Now our next stop and our last stop is actually going to be table 9i. Table 9i is for electrical metallic tubing or EMT. What we do is we go to the 40% column and the 40% column tells us that we are going to need a 27 millimeter conduit. So a 27 millimeter conduit is the smallest conduit by code that we could use to pull in these conductors. And that conduit would be an EMT or electrical metallic tubing. I hope this example helped. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos. Thanks. Bye.